Welcome to my little tutorial video on how to use um, a Navigator database such as Ivasco Host that we're going to be using today, but mostly focusing on the historical abstracts of full text. So maybe you might be someone who's trying to research for something in the historical field. Maybe you're trying to find a historical person. Maybe you're trying to find an article about an event that happened way in the past. Well, hopefully here you'll be able to learn how to navigate a basic search, how to navigate an advanced search, um, as well as see the options that are offered for an advanced search and basic search, such as search options, limiters, filters, um, and as well as see what's offered on the results page as well and see how you can also refine your results to either make it more broader or make it more specific. So let's begin. So when you first start here using this database, we can see that we can enter any type of word. So I could literally be entering, let's say, a tragic historical event like the Holocaust or I, let's go with maybe a place like Rome, or we can maybe add a historical figure, maybe like say the, um, let's go with Bill Clinton. Um, so you can basically add anything into your search query, but also pay attention that you're also able to use the search options to modify um, your search. So maybe you wanna search with um, only full text articles. Maybe you want to apply related words to it. Uh, maybe for the search modes, you wanna, add your Boolean or operators or phrases such as can or not. Or maybe you wanna, as well as find all your search terms. So these are open to you um, as the searcher. And as well as knowing that we're searching for something that's historical, we can also limit our results ahead of time. So maybe we wanna just look for things, maybe let's say 2010. Um, maybe we wanted to end at the year 2020. Uh, maybe you wanna select the publish to this article or piece of information it was first dated, uh, maybe the publication type and the book or even the language. So all of these things are available to you as a searcher um, as you're conducting the search. But as well as if we go beyond the basic search and into an advanced search, we can see that we're given multiple fields now. And as you can see right here, you're able to select from these field options such as author, title, subject page. And as we go on, Maybe you just want to search for an author that has written really well on certain um, historical figures. Um, maybe you want to, um, maybe you know a title of a historical piece that's written by someone that's um, from, from history. Uh, maybe you also want to have the ISB, ISN number um, to a piece of article. So these are all available in the advanced search options, as well as you know, the current options that were mentioned previously in the basic search. Um, but it's also important to realize, even in this part right here as well, you know, where you can also select, maybe you want certain, to find certain images, maybe a graph, maybe an illustration, a diagram. Um, so it's important as a searcher that you have these options available. So let's begin a search. Um, so again, let's go with something like the Holocaust. Um, and again, let's say you want to select um, everything. So as we could probably do title, we could probably do all text, but let's just, let's just go with the basic search, but also know that when you do search, you are also given many options. So for example, if I were to do the Holocaust, I get about 9,852 results. But if I click and now when you use operators such as and or, or not, they're either going to broaden your search or they're going to make it more specific and narrow it down. So if I were to do Holocaust and children, let's see what happens. So we went from 9,000 to, whoa, to even 450. That's very interesting. But let's say we, we even expand our thing. So let's say maybe we put not, so not survivors. Okay, it looks like by putting the not option, so eliminating maybe any possible types of information um, that's not including survivors, we see that we went from 500 to 300. So it's very important to realize that using different operators provides you with different results, but as well as you can refine your results here, as well as limiting it to a pre-review, which hopefully brought us down to 200. Uh, maybe you want only academic journals. That's going to bring us down even more. And maybe you just want to change the date, but also be aware as a searcher that if you're selecting all of these um, options, make sure that um, that you double check because sometimes even though you might only select full text and maybe you want to change it to not peer reviewed, it's still going to affect your search numbers. But it's important to realize that here in the search drills, you have many options to use from. 
Um, and as we can see here, we went to 92. But yeah, that's basically the overall quick little tutorial video of how to use this database.